Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me. If you're new to my channel, nice to meet you. I'm Kelly. My channel is Kelly's Creations and I do DIYs and thrift store makeovers, Dollar Tree DIYs and pretty much anything craft related. So thanks for stopping by. If you're here, it's because you know all about the $5 Goodwill Challenge. Hillary from Old World Home hosts this every season. And now we are doing the $5 Goodwill Challenge Fall Edition. I've been waiting for this one because fall is my favorite time of year. Absolute favorite. Some of my best memories are in the fall. We moved to South Carolina from Michigan almost nine years ago now. But my fondest memories are back home with my family during that fall season with the leaves changing, the cooler weather coming in, us making trips to the cider mill to pick apples and eat donuts, and all the family, my husband's family, my family gathering at our house at Halloween, and some would stay back and pass out candy while others took the kids trick-or-treating. We always had a bonfire going. We had, it was like potluck. Everybody brought their favorite dish and we had hot apple spicy cider on the stove. Oh, I miss those days. <laughs> I really do. And I miss spending time with my family. So this year for the fall challenge, I thought it would be great to find something just warm and cozy and homey and keeping with my farmhouse style. So I got super lucky. And as you all know, the rules for the $5 challenge is you can go to Goodwill, you can go to your favorite thrift store, you can even go to garage sales if they're still going on. Um, you just have to stay within that $5 budget. And then you can either show how you redid it or you can show how you use it in your home. So I'm gonna do both. I'm gonna show you what I got I'm going to show you what I do to it, and then I'm going to show you how I incorporate it in my farmhouse decor. So let's get started. I got my favorite Raid on Halloween trick or treat mug that I got last year. I was so excited to get this. And I wish this was hot apple cider. It's not. But any time you drink out of your favorite mug, it still makes you feel warm and cozy inside. So let me set this down, and let's get started. So, I knew I was looking for a basket for this challenge. And I found this one. And it was $1.89, so I stayed within the budget. So cute. I think this is called like a Tabasco basket. And maybe not. That's what I'm calling it. <laughs> but, oh, I love this basket. And then I found this bundle how cute is this and I didn't even open it up when I was at the Goodwill I just bought it because I knew that I wanted it and it was also a dollar 89 and when I opened it up I realized that it is a placemat how cool is that awesome Actually, my first idea with this was I thought I was going to make a vase out of it. I thought I was going to wrap it around, but that would have just, oops, trying to get away. That would have just been way too big. Look at if I wrapped it up, that's a huge vase. So I wasn't doing that, and I didn't want to undo it because that's just very cool the way it is. It saves me a lot of time putting it together. So I'm going to keep it as a placemat. I'm just going to vamp it up a little bit for my farmhouse decor. So, that kept me within my $5 budget. I'm under, actually. I got two pieces to work with. I've been making multiple trips to Hobby Lobby on my lunch hour because who doesn't love going to Hobby Lobby on their lunch hour, right? Plus, you can use your 40% off coupon every single day. Luckily, where I work, there was a Hobby Lobby close. I spent many hours <laughs> at lunch in Hobby Lobby. But I am going to accent these two pieces with these adorable pumpkins from Hobby Lobby. 
Now, this is accent pieces, so it doesn't really matter how much they were. I can tell you I did use my 40% off coupon. They were $9.99, so I'm not good at math if you guys want to do it. I also got another little placemat in buffalo check with this cute little phrase on it. I'm going to use that to accent these two pieces and probably some buffalo check ribbon and... This pick I got for 40% off also at Hobby Lobby. I think all of these things will go great with my Goodwill find. So let's go over to my craft table and let's get this video started. So using some folk art in white and some Waverly Elephant, I'm just going to start by removing the sticker from the Goodwill. Luckily there was only two. Sometimes Goodwill can go crazy with their sticker machine. but. This time I lucked out. So I'm gonna start with the white and I'm just gonna give the basket a real good coat of white paint. I'm gonna do the inside of the basket all around the edges and then I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna do everything but the bottom. Um, you can't really see the bottom and I just didn't think it was necessary to waste paint on a part that you wouldn't be able to see anyway. So as you can see, I'm putting just white paint all around the edges and all around probably three quarters of the bottom of this basket. Now we're going to move on to that bamboo placemat. Again, I'm going to remove the stickers from Goodwill. I'm going to lay it flat and I'm only going to paint the top of this placemat. I'm going to leave the bottom unpainted. Again, nobody's going to see the bottom. There wasn't any reason to waste paint on that. So I'm going to take the white, folk art and uh, chalk paint in white, and I'm just going to go over. I don't want full coverage. I just want, I want to I wanted the bamboo to show through, but I wanted some white and I also wanted some elephant in gray on this just to make it pop and stand out more and to make it really go with the basket. So like I said, no rhyme or reason. I'm just taking my white paint and I'm just hitting the bamboo in pl certain places and leaving others with the bamboo showing through. Now coming back to the basket, I'm going to take the elephant, um, Waverly Elephant paint, and I'm just going to go around, I'm going to say they're like the strings that are holding the top piece of the basket together, and I'm just going to hit those with the Waverly and Elephant. I'm going to do the tops, and I'm going to do the sides, and I'm going to do the outsides of them, and that's the only part of this that I'm going to add that gray paint to. And there it is, all put together. This basket looks amazing on that bamboo placemat. I think both pieces go so good together. I think it can be used all year round and just adding different items into the basket. I love it. I'm so happy with my Goodwill finds. And I just added some Hobby Lobby pumpkins and a buffalo check placemat and some lambs here just for the fall season. But it will also be great all year round. I can use it for Thanksgiving. I can use it for in the summer. These were great finds and I'm so happy with the way it turned out. 
I hope you enjoyed this $5 Goodwill Fall Challenge. If you did, please consider subscribing to my channel. Hit that like button so I know I'm doing it right. And don't forget to check out Hillary's channel at Old World Home. And I am going to put a link to her channel and a link to this amazing playlist in the section below. Be sure to check out everybody's wonderful Goodwill finds and how they used them in their home for the 2019 Fall Challenge. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to come watch my video. I appreciate you all so much and I'll see you again soon y'all. Bye! Thank you.